Good morrow. I thought Seriously? you were saying good morning. <laughs> God. I mean, you could, I guess, yeah, good it's morning. It's 9 o'clock yeah. in the morning, so yeah. Good morrow. Mm -hmm. Different 9 o'clock on this time. Hey, welcome to this episode of Press Start Video Games. We've got some news for you. you um, like that. News? news? Good news, everyone! We've got great news for you, actually. Futurama. All kinds of good on. stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, romantic involvements in video games. A little controversial there. And then we're going to be talking about our opinion of the best opening to a video game ever. So let's start off with some news. But before we do that, my name's Will. This is Nine. Hello. We've got Gage Hi. and Sam. Hey. Did we do introductions last week? No, we, we did, did not. not. He introduced Joe, and that oh, was Oh, yeah. It. I was like, well, I don't remember saying hi. He introduced Joe last week, so. <laughs> well. Joe. Go back and watch that episode and, and check us on that, but we did not do that. And yes, we did just anyway. Uh, news. Let's talk about Batman. OK. <laughs> Sweet. Gage is all over this topic already. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, we're talking about the Batman season pass. That so was the season pass, and then Black Ops Three season pass was season pass was given a price point. Batman's coming in at forty dollars. Black Ops Three's coming in at fifty dollars. Holy! Which is what it's been. Yeah, Jeez. which is which is. I mean, that's the biggest reaction a lot of people are giving. But that's the price point it's been for a while, and that's the price point you're seeing with Battlefield. Even still, it's ridiculously way too high for both that's of an, them. Yeah. That's a whole nother game. When yeah. season passes first started coming out, they were twenty and thirty dollars. Sometimes less. Sometimes twelve. Sometimes fifteen. I mean, sometimes eight. I think it's absurd that you're going to pay twenty dollars for four maps. Well, that's some so instances. Fifth 50 bucks for Call of Duty, you end up spending $110, $110. just to have all the content. But I mean, of course, what the, the problem I have with the Call of Duty stuff is usually it is maps, it's gun skins. You don't see much past that. You don't see a story to well, see Well, Advanced ever. Warfare was the first one to do gun skins. No, it wasn't. There's was gun skins like Black Ops 2. No, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Something like that. that. Anyway. Yeah. But, but you don't, you don't see. Warfare was the first one to do guns exclusively for DLC. Mm, maybe guns exclusively, but not gun skins. Yeah, because yeah, I know you got the Widowmaker and... So, you know, I, and yeah, anyway. I mean, I, I just... <laughs> this is crazy. That's, that is high. That's but yeah, but high. You, I mean, they're not offering... Uh, I mean, there's I mean, again, there's no story DLC coming with Black Ops, which right. they never do. So I don't imagine that they're doing it now. My, which what I think you'll probably see is... 50 bucks just to get some maps. Uh, right, but I, I, I would That's hope that they're going to throw some kind of new zombie campaign in with that. Because if they're doing that new, I you'll, think they well, just introduce it that You'll get new zombie map. L before, Typical it's been the multiplayer ops, maps. Yeah. They'll, they'll have the zombie maps and all the new skins and all that kind of stuff. Is what you've gotten before with each launch of the whatever. Sure. But... My, I'm a little hung up on the zombies because if you if you're a zombie fan, you play zombies all the time. You always want to play zombies in another map. So it's like I kind of get stuck, but and they suck you in that way. But still, too much money. Yeah. Regardless. Well, when, you, when they throw the price point at you first, and they don't give you any details, you're just kind of you're going to get a negative reaction regardless. And that's so, what so happened with Batman. Gage, so. let yes. me ask you a question. Sure. Are you going to buy the DLC for Batman? I will. That's the thing. It's like if he's hard, but I'm a dedicated. I'm, I'm a dedicated he's fan. I'm a special. I'm gonna case. buy Batman. I'm probably not gonna do the DLC. Come it's over to the house and watch it. It's overpriced, man. It's overpriced. I mean, it, it is. At forty bucks is a lot, and like especially Witcher, a lot for. I like the Witcher season pass. <laughs> Zero dollars. <laughs> great. I've been talking a All lot DLC. about that. That recently. game. Yeah. So I mean, I, I season passes out. are too expensive. But if it's if it ends up being worth forty bucks, fine. I don't think it will. Probably not. But moving on. Anyway. Okay, moving on. I got uh, Plants vs. <laughs> Zombies uh, Garden Warfare sequel. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's worthy of a sequel, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Super popular. It's Plants vs. Zombies. Like, you can't go wrong. I mean... You know what I'd like to see, though? I'd like to see a tribute to the original Plants vs. Zombies as a some sort of a playable thing. Like, just the regular side-scrolling first game. They did that in Dying Light. Yeah. Well, that, it was an Easter egg. It's still... Awesome. I'd, I'd like okay. because I had so much fun it's playing the first one. The I thought the first one was fantastic, but it'd be fun to see that built into this game. It's just oh. an idea. Like they should have like an arcade cabinet. That yeah, you get to something and, like and, that. And play exactly. It. Well, that, that I mean, it's the follow up because I mean the, the shooter was wildly successful. What, what are you gonna add? What are you gonna change? Uh, new zombies, new plants. They would have to. I mean, I mean, they don't have like they don't have the, Dave. Sure. Crazier Dave, yeah. Maybe like a crazy Dave gets bit by a zombie and then he becomes a boss or something. <laughs> That'd be know. nuts. Buy that. <laughs> it's a great idea. I'm just spitting out great ideas over here. <laughs> crazier Dave. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Classic. Super crazy Dave. Uh, Super Need for crazy. Speed Rivals at E3 this year? No, no. Not Rivals. 
Rivals was a couple years ago. Need for Speed at E3 this year. Yeah, so during one of E3's investor calls a couple weeks ago, um, they detailed that quarter three of this year, you will see a Need for Speed release. Okay. So I imagine you're getting... You'll probably have some news about it. You're going to get an announcement at E3, I imagine. Like, that's what's coming. so. There was no Need for Speed last year. No, took the year off. So I really But they did show off that awesome-looking racing game. That's well, they showed, they showed concept art. Sure, they showed off what they've been working I on. I really hope that's not what this is. I, I you want a separate Need for Speed game? I do. Too. I want that to be more like a Burnout game. <laughs> I do. Okay. I, that's I, what I'd I like. I really, really want another Burnout. Yeah. yeah. They haven't had Burnout since Burnout Paradise I, eight years ago. I, I totally game. agree with that. I think so. Still, remember, um, no. Usually, yeah, 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 yeah. every year at E3, when they do Need for Speed, Rob Deerdeck comes out. Yeah. He didn't win for Rivals. Yeah, he was out there. No. Yeah, yeah. We were there. He wasn't there. He was there. Nope. He was there. Look it up. <laughs> Okay. Test, We're not doing me. this again. We've already done this once. I don't but remember who was right, who was wrong. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he. We're going to the future, not the past. Let's roll. I just want to argue with you guys. And, and yeah, we know. I know. We know. <laughs> and Rob, so sorry for breaking your sunglasses. It totally wasn't our fault, but you threw them, and there you go. That was the year before I went. That was the year before, yeah. 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 He's there every year. Every, He's not. <laughs> every, every need for, need for speed. He's yeah. there. So. Aaron Paul was there for Rivals because he promoted the movie. Deer Deck was there because he lives right there in town. I guarantee you he was there. Look it up. I don't think it was. Anyway. Look it up. Okay, I'll look it up. All if right. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever. All right, you're wrong. Super Mario um, Mirror's Edge 2 in 2016. Oh, Mirror's Edge reboot. Reboot 2. It's not a sequel. It's not a... Is it called reboot. Mirror's Edge 2? I don't it's even know. It's just called Mirror's Edge. Oh. It's just called Mirror's Edge. So far. Definitely a... It could change. Yeah? I still think it could change. They've said that it's a reboot, so I don't know what... Is this a, is this a about. franchise game for you? No. I don't... No. <laughs> I think it's going to depend on the they're making success another one. of this one. I think they're making another one because the outcry on the internet for another one. <laughs> There's a service. lot of outcry for it. Yeah. It's wildly popular. Yeah, and I think that's why I, you're I saying say you it. make a franchise out of wildly popular, ge popular games. Yeah, but EA also has the idea that you can make a franchise out of everything. Yeah, yeah Ubisoft's got the same system where they're, yeah. they're, they're making new IPs based on having th at least three iterations of that game. Is that a good idea? No. I don't think so. I, don't think that's, that's, I think that's too... Forward of them, especially to in a video. Take off? Yeah, especially for with video games because there's you, so make easily make a quality game one and then worry about yeah, your because you can make a great first game, but your sequels usually it's don't do as well as the first one, Dead and then you Space, lose a ton of money. Awesome. Dead yeah. Space two, awesome. Dead Space three, kind of. Fell and you off haven't seen that. anything Dead Space related since, but you know that could be a developer thing too. <laughs> well, Visceral's now doing Star the, Wars. The Star Wars, and they were doing Battlefield, so yeah. Uh, Disney Infinity 3.0. They'll oh, yeah. have Star Wars. Sam's Disney not Ultron. excited. I'm not excited about this. Um, I am, but I can't afford it. <laughs> Start buy all three packs. Star Wars figures, I think, are, are really cool. I think that's Star Wars, good. Minnie and Mickey and Donald, and then the Avengers. Yeah. Um, Spider-Man. Spider uh, Spider-Man. With he's getting the a Spider-Man is the Vita version. Yeah, he's the getting an exclusive Vita one. The Disney Infinity 2.0 for the Vita. Yeah. Um, and Symbiote then, Spider Man is exclusively in that bundle. But I think they're going like Overkill. with the Vita thing, like they're behind the times. Like, okay, you've already have two point for everything else. Why go back and do it for the Vita now? Like, why not do it when they released it? I mean, they did it through three D S. I mean <laughs> I see where she's coming from. I don't think releasing two point I mean, is gonna be like worth what to do. Like Vita. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there were some kind of technical issues. That I'm not looking for a solid out. answer. I mean, I'm just <laughs> telling you. Can you please tell us yeah. exactly what's going yeah. on? Yeah, call them Why? and see what's going on. I'm not looking I mean, for like a solid, you know, logical thing. I just don't think it's, you know. All right. Well, listen. Are. We're going to be talking about romantic involvement situations <laughs> in video situations. games right after this. Not the situation. Hey, welcome back. So let's talk about uh, what probably is somewhat of a controversial topic. For in, some. For some. In, in video games, some people are like, Yeah, it can be pretty <laughs> controversial. So uh, just, you know, r romantic situations in video games. Love that. Romantic situations. We're being careful with our words here. Um, yeah. Um, you know, obviously it's explicit material and it's always been how far do you go? Because obviously it's out there in movies, right? Been a taboo topic for quite a while. Um, Especially in games. Yeah, I think it really started taking off more in like the PS2 era with God of War and Grand Theft Auto. Or you just seen like nudity. 
Yeah, to you, begin with. You get the nudity with the God leisure of War. Leisure Suit you get Larry. The, as I was going to say, Leisure Suit Larry. Back Way back in the day. Yeah, on the, on those, the PC, yeah. really. Those was were pushing for a select book. crowd. Like, people... Doesn't, doesn't matter. So, I mean, it was still happening in games. The, the problem was, or is, I guess, is you have movies, which... Right. Rated R movie. And then, because it, as soon as it makes its interest in the games, it's like, whoa, this is like crazy. Don't do it. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's just it's opening up because I mean, putting anything in a video game seems like to open it up to the masses, no matter how much ESRB stuff you push target. in front of That's yeah. It. Well, and also when is. you're playing a character, you're immersed in the game, so especially That's the first person game. Yeah. That, you know. That's the argument. People think it's more like you're comprehending more of what's going on. Well, when you because get you're the character. When you get San Andreas as in their hot coffee mod. The hot coffee thing, yeah. But you couldn't get it on consoles. You could only get it on PC. True, but, still, but that was pretty. Kids accurate. were going online <laughs> looking up how to get yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you know. kids can go online and look up other stuff. Anyway, they can look at the real thing. True. Well, you know, we'll go back so. to what, what I've said before. As long as there's parental involvement and in knowing what's going on. Yeah, but so every 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 uh, kind of platform's gone through this. Music, obviously, with the whole. Explosive lyrics and all that thing. Yeah. They've yep. they've dealt with this. Movies, just how far could you do it? At what point do you do you movies are actually still pushing that still boundary pushing. even today with moving stuff in that used to only be in a rated R movie, you're now seeing in like PG thirteen movies. Yeah, or even yeah, television. Some kind of well, yeah, you can, shows. That kinda of goes with the culture and how our culture has changed. It, yes. And what was P G when we were children? It would be rated G now because right. you know, yeah, oh, yeah. there's violence, yeah. cartoon violence, whatever. It's also culture like, evolves. Like yeah, that's yeah, pretty much it. It's, it's also a country thing because in in our country, it's the big thing that's censored is nudity and things like that. So that's oh, why yeah. you see less of it. But in other countries, they don't care. Yeah, nudity. you have the right. channels that have like <laughs> the commercials right the have newspaper. it all the time. Page five, like <laughs> it's yeah. in there. So it's just it, it is a culture based thing. But and then video games is so we have The Witcher Three, which is out. Yes. So 16, 16 hours of romantic involvement. In romantic involvement. 16 hours of bow cap footage of that. Is this a game like Witcher 3 warrant that kind of stuff? Like, do we need that kind of thing in The Witcher 3 to make it the game it's uh, got to so, be? So, so there's a line between leaving it up to artistic impression. If the developer felt that that should be in there because if it supports the game or the story or like a movie, right? right? Or, or even a television series we were talking about. I mean, at what point do you draw the line and say, okay, this is this is too much, or, okay, well, it fits in what's going on, you right. know. Now, the, the, the stuff about this, the Witcher thing is it's, there's not that much content in the game. Right. They just got all of the reference material they needed, <laughs> which, I mean, I... It's a weird situation. Yeah, but, I, mean, I, I got to get the footage from somewhere. You know? Right, but it's, it just seems like I, if I played through The Witcher and didn't have any of that interaction, I, I don't think it ruined my experience with, there. I, and I don't even think you, you right? have to. It's probably all like. <laughs> just look at me weird. It, it, it's probably all optional. Sure. Like it is in most of the games. Like it is in Mass involved. Effect and Dragon God of War Age and Bio, not Bioshock. What's the game I'm thinking of? Grand Theft Auto. Sure. Wow. Like how I got wow. Out of Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. I mean, the, the, I mean, the options are there for to do those things in the games. Um, what was I going to say? I, I mean, are you interested in this romantic thing? Or do you seek out to build these relationships? Because well, some stuff, so, like in Mass Effect 2, you have to build strong relationships with those people. Dragon to, Age is the same way. To get them to the end of the game. Yeah. Same. Like, what's your take on all this? On video games, you know, you can take it or leave it. It depends on, you know, how the story is evolving. If it's not needed for the story, then it's just there for optional optional reference. stuff. Um, I mean, I played eight years of World of Warcraft and never really had that in the storyline. Sure. So. And it's wow. You yeah, know, I like wow. Doesn't doesn't lend itself to right that kind of That's material. Right. Obviously, a game like. Grand Theft Auto when when you're doing everything else yeah that's that that's out that's taboo or whatever yeah, I mean you know. I mean they had missions make... based in strip clubs <laughs> right yeah so so and, yeah you know but never mind well, would you, would you I rather figure see... out a way to word it without coming across uh, well the, how about the, the whole thing in video would you rather see it come across as you as the character have to seek out this thing like get to build a relationship with a person to become that thing or would you rather have a God of War scenario where it's in a cutscene I, so so I, here's my take on it I, I think that if it's interactive if it I'm thinking I'm talking about essentially like the first like dream sequence cutscene you go through there's just naked girls all over the place Again, if if, it, if it's supposed to be in the story, if it's supposed to be a part of what's going on, mm -hmm. then okay. If 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 you want to put it as an Easter egg, I 
I guess okay. As long as it, it, it makes sense for it to, to for it to be in there. Right. Um, I mean, you don't want to push the envelope just to push it, but you don't, and you don't want to put it in there just to put it in there. Say, hey, yeah, we got this in our game. And and, and regardless of what happens, there are going to be kids that get the hold of these games and still play them. So there's going to be you know right. the parents that then come in and be like, what what are you doing? Oh my gosh, this is whatever. And that's where the controversy is because they take it then. To how could you put a game out like this? How could you release this? And da 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 da. Yeah, but so. I mean, if it's bad enough, it goes. It goes it's the adult-only kind of rating. Yeah, the very few games actually very achieve few. that status. Yeah, it takes a lot to get adult-only ratings. Yeah. So, so do, do we put video games in the same category then as movies and music? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's entertainment, entertainment. media. That's, yeah. I mean, that's all it is. So, I mean, if it's. It's. I still think it's art too. So. But, but video you put games, you, art, art. you put it in the same category, but yet. How many adult-only games are there? Very few. I think you can probably count them on two hands. Yeah, it's probably a little bit more than that. But I mean, I get what you're saying. Well, available here, you can probably count them on two hands. Yeah, but, I mean, once you're well, adult-only, I mean, mind. there's stuff outside the country that's all over the place. Right. Are there any actually really good adult-only games that has a story that has um, a campaign? There's a sim version, like an actual sim-style game called uh, Love Life. Okay. That is apparently really, really good. It's only on PC, but people say it's awesome. So, so it's got a, an actual production value behind it. And the whole everything. purpose of the game is to do that. Well, guess what traffic you just raised on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Hey. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Free plug. Free okay. Plug. We're going to have uh, our opinion of best opening game ever right after this. Okay, welcome back, and we're going to be talking about best opening sequence or intro to a game, in our opinion. Um, so pop the disc in, first thing, boom, you're blown away. This, this <laughs> is, it sets the tone, right? Yeah, so we're talking about opening logos? Sometimes. <laughs> and and maybe, maybe, it's not just, maybe it's not just the the intro or the cinematic, maybe it's just the beginning of the game, like the first little... Like the first little, like whole stretch of the game? Yeah, just setting it up for the tone for what you're about to do. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. Well, let's, let's talk about some, some good ones, and then we'll pick which ones. Okay, are. this isn't like what we did with the, the... It's a good one, but we hate it, all right? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk Mario 64 is awesome. We'll, we'll, we'll throw out some of the best intros to games or... or by popular opinion, then we'll we'll, we'll pick. Gage doesn't like anything that's popular, so. So okay, let's I put popular stuff on that list. So let's talk about God of War Two. <laughs> awesome game. Didn't play. The amazing Didn't play. game. Awesome intro. You guys are missing out. You got. You, you Didn't need, own a PS3. Yeah. Sorry. It was on PS2. Didn't own a PS2. God of War Two certainly worthy of the list. An amazing. That's not true at all. I, I like the intro to the first God of War. And, and, that and animation and the art style they did it in was just. Awesome. The first boss battle also was awesome. In God of War One. God of War One. Yeah, the Kraken. Yeah, that thing was awesome. <laughs> I think it's um, a love fest on that side. So, and then actually <laughs> God, God of War. God of War Three. Great games. God of War Three had probably the biggest opening of all of them. So, fight the side and right there at the beginning. The, those, all of those games, uh, worthy. Um, Uncharted Two. Cool. That one's cool on my game. list. Yeah, so I know Sam like that one a lot. Beautiful. Uh, Bioshock. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's well, we, uh, yeah. Do we want to talk yeah. about it or are we just, yeah. na just naming them? First? Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's an inside joke. That's an inside joke. Nobody will get it. Uh, all right, well, sure. Why Bioshock 2? Or Bioshock 1, sorry. Bioshock Excuse two? me? No, we don't talk about yeah, Bioshock the, hey, Excuse <laughs> me? The game that should not be. Exist. Goodness. <laughs> that um, should not be named. <laughs> I, li I, I like Bioshock. I mean, it, it, first, you know, you're on the plane, you start off, you look into your box, yeah, doing you your crash. thing, and then you crash, and you swim in the water. And actually, when I first started playing the game, I was just in the water. I was like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where to go or anything like that. What's going on? Where am I going? So then you swim, and then you get, and then you, you go under, and then you just you're introduced to Rapture. Yeah, and just like kind of that first cutscene is actually like after you started playing the game. Yeah, I honestly thought that I would go back above water quicker, no. but no, no, you stayed that way. You're in you're Rapture down the entire yeah. time. And I just I felt really immersed getting into there and just seeing the structures and the scenery and then the beat up Rapture and then the niceness uh, of the outside. Windows and yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, thought it was great. Awesome game. Awesome, awesome yeah. game. Okay, at least really sure. at the tone. Mass Effect Two. Mass Effect Two was cool. Never played it. Just because the opening 
and as a spoiler, Mass Effect 2 is opening. Just go ahead. Uh, you blow up, <laughs> and the story is you have to reconstruct your... seven. Huh? The Normandy? No, Commander Shepard. Oh, Commander Shepard. Yeah, you, you, get a, you, you rebuild you your, have to build you rebuild yourself. yourself to look like what you ever you want to look like. So you can either import your character from the first one or make or start a new character. That's how the story goes. And yet people were still upset at the end of Mass Effect Three. Yeah, he actually yeah. dies. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> uh, maybe, possibly, who possibly. knows? Well, yeah, so theories are out there. They patched it with DLCs. What was, what so was this, the other game? Which one? On the list. Batman Arkham Asylum? Batman Arkham, Arkham Asylum. Asylum. Yeah. Cool, cool. Intro. How did you forget Batman? I was just being, <laughs> yeah. you, know. you know. You? Yeah. <laughs> no, Batman Arkham Asylum was great. Will being Will. You start off with the news report, and the Batmobile zooms by, and then Batman's got the Joker. Bruce Wayne. That was just a teaser. Couldn't Bruce Wayne was in the city. I thought Bruce Wayne was put in Arkham Asylum. No. No. But Matt, Bruce Wayne was doing a report in Ar the beginning of Arkham City, which is also a good opening, and then he's captured by Hugo Strange and put into a room, and you have to knock over a chair, and then you escape. Yeah. Arkham City, Arkham Asylum is when you walk the Joker through on the stretcher yeah. into the yeah. asylum. You see yeah. some other villains, you talk with the Joker a little bit, and then you get trapped, and yeah. then he gets away through Harley Quinn. Yeah. Really great. That, that was good. Yay, yeah, Harley that Quinn. was a lot of fun. Yeah, Harley Quinn. Um, Harley awesome. Quinn. I'm going to throw another one out there, really quick The Last of Us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and say nothing. Yeah, every time I say something negative about anyone else liking something. All right, so, so, so <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you, man? I, I don't. I didn't think it was that heart wrenching. It didn't pull on my heart Are you kidding me? You don't me? have kids or I, sorry feelings. I mean, when, A child. Okay. The, the hype for that game was for like two years long. You didn't see that girl once in any trailer, so? any promo materials, anything like that. So That's when the game opens up the with the guy's alive. kid and they're having like a moment and he puts her to bed and she gets back up, I thought immediately, this girl's gonna die. She's dead. And what happened 10 minutes later? She died. Whoop de doo. It was I was ready for it. And you know, you didn't think for one minute that maybe they were keeping that a secret to keep the emotional value? They could have showed her once. No. Yeah, and just be like, oh well, no. that's a character in the game. Because then people would have started asking. Anywho. It could have been like, go to your room. Moving, Something like that. Shut up, Moving Gage. on. So so I, I think I own a car they, they they did a good job of they were telling a story with that game, but yeah, you that was a little bit of a shock how they delivered it, but very well done. Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog, a couple games on the Naughty list. Naughty Dog is just perfect. Anyway, let's go ahead and go through our you know, it's hard to deny what they're they're on top of their, their I game. I mean Last of Us Two, yes please. Oh Crash Team Racing. <laughs> I'm never gonna have it. <laughs> Alright, so Well, top. I'm gonna go last. I'm gonna go third. You always go last. He's gonna go last. I'll go third. <laughs> Um, Fine, I'll go last. All right, you go last. We'll go this way. Fine. We'll always start with me. Let's, let's get it going. Sam. All right. Um. Okay, so <laughs> best opening, either intro or sequence, or just beginning of the game, in your opinion, ever. Go. I know you're going to think I, you know what I'm going to say. Okay. But I'm not. Okay. I'm going to have to go with Far Cry 3. Nice. Far Cry Great choice. choice. Far Cry 3, because just the way that it... Yeah, it's just kids hanging out. hanging out, being you know. You're thinking, oh, All this is gonna be great, and then you're like, oh, <laughs> you're how oh, interesting. Oh, you've been captured by captured. the ruthless drug lord. Mm. Awesome. And now let's escape. <laughs> not only uh, did it have a, a great opening sequence, but just one of the most twisted stories. Oh, just yeah. so you never quite knew jacked. what to <laughs> like you know just, expect. There's still theories going on around about that game. I like the whole thing. Yeah, I like that game. Right on. Sure. So nice. Gage, what's yours? Okay. What's your pick? So Far Cry 3 is on the board. Good. That's for Sam. Gage, what do you got? What you got? It's either... God. Uh, I'll go with Bioshock. Bioshock? Yeah. All right, because I felt like when I... What, what were you debating between? Arkham Asylum. Uh, of course. I knew he was going to say Batman. Like I'll Batman or Bioshock. No, I'll say too. Bioshock. Because I mean, when I, when I first opened up the game, and I, I didn't get to play it in its first release, but I got, you know, when I first got into it, I just felt like, I was like, okay. I'm in there. I'm just. I'm good. I'm surrounded by it. I feel like I'm in there. Yeah. Nice. Good. Done. Okay. Well done, game. I, I am going to say Fallout Three. Oh, with the Ron Perlman "War Never Changes" intro. I, I just thought the whole first little bit of the game. I, I, Are you talking like in the vault in, in the vault? Or? Yeah. I, I just like I couldn't. I was like, this is cool, and then it, it went on so much longer that I thought it. I thought I'd be outside yeah. like already, and. I actually really enjoyed messing around in the vault, doing things. So by the time I actually got outside, I was—it was just yeah, like creating your character was actually like 
story driven. Yeah. It wasn't just, hey, make a character and get going. Right. I thought it was well done. It, it, it was it, it was a, a change of pace to have that whole area be so much longer than just a little bit. You know what I mean? Because usually you go through like a sequence and all of a sudden then you're into the game. Well, this went on for a while. But the game was, it was like when you finally got out, it was like, boom. It was like, you know, man. That's my top. Nice. Nine, what do you got? Mine is uh, Chrono Cross. One oh, of nice. My all-time favorite sequels that wasn't very well received by a lot of people. Um, the game is fantastic. The opening is just gorgeous for a PlayStation 1 game. Uh, it's got awesome sound for the music. It's got awesome, awesome story to it. Um, and, you know, it's a follow-up to Chrono Trigger. Which it is does a have great awesome game. Music. I mean, it's not a direct sequel, but it's of the Chrono series. And I, I, I loved it. It's one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, I know a lot of people out there are, are cheering you on right now because that 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 whole series is just I wish that they huge I, fan base. I would I would love it if Square announced a Chrono game. Ooh, at, that, that would be at something. E3. I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen. So <laughs> that don't hold could be. For that. You never know. But that would start be the rumor here. All right, so that's our pick. Of course, we always want to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Hit us up at youtube.com slash psvgtv. That's youtube.com slash psvgtv. Like, comment, subscribe. We always want to know what you think. And check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash pressstartvg. And check us out on Twitch as well. Um, Twitch is, uh, what is our, what's the? Twitch.tv slash press un underscore, press underscore star start underscore, underscore TV. TV. Yeah. One more time. Twitch.tv slash press underscore start underscore TV. They'll Check be in the comments yeah, in the be, link below. Yeah. All right. Until next time, guys. See ya. Love you. See ya. Out.